going on guys? Butt Butt here and I'm here to talk about an interesting topic. I think it's something that's always been around in competitive plays and I saw a recent video uh, that came out a couple days ago but I only saw it today and actually like I found it very interesting and I kind of like made my head think again and it was very cool. There's a, a YouTuber named Jericho and he made a video about hey this isn't competitive like let me play what I want, let me have fun, let me test new things, let me try new things and let, let's be innovative here. Let's let's innovate new things, let's test new things, let's let's change things up. Um, and he made some interesting points and some points that I kind of disagree with but I'll kind of be going over that so throughout this video. So the first thing, he, uh, one of the things he was talking about which I, I do agree with is the new styles and adaptations to games, right? Uh, I, as some of you know who watch some of, uh, through some of my channel or uh, any of my channel, I've played a lot of League of Legends and that is something that is very true. There's a, a lot of things that need to be tested or figured out for, for a very long time ever since leasing was created. It was like two years later till people figured out that you could flash, you could ultimate flash where it would root them and kick them back and you'd have some of the best, best engages in the entire world. and. Leeson just suddenly became, uh, once again, the king of the jungle and people were figuring out all these cool tricks and you could do ward kicks and um, all these other gimmicky stuff. And it's something that happened a lot. There would be characters that people didn't know about, right? That would suddenly uh, come out of nowhere and just take everyone by surprise, right? So it's the characters that people weren't always used to seeing and that was very fun to see and it was pretty, like, interesting. So in his video, he's... Uh, talks about battle mercy and how he thinks it's really good, it hits really hard and uh, that even though it has a slow projectile speed it has a lot of utility and oh it, it, it's fun and I think it's pretty good and he talks about how people shouldn't get angry or frustrated for him playing the way he wants to play uh, and they should just kind of essentially deal with it. That's I think too harsh for me to say because he, he, he wasn't saying like that at all. He was very uh, cordial about it. But the problem with that, and I, is I'll bring up even a personal story uh, in a little bit, is that when you are doing that, you are essentially reducing the fun for the rest of your team. And what I mean by that is, yes, you might be having more fun because you're trying something new and you're wanting to test something, but you're not thinking of the other players on your team. It's kind of, uh, I would say, a slightly selfish mindset because you're like, man, I really want to play this play style or this character in this certain way. And instead of testing it out with a group of friends or an environment where I'm able to test something, I can't do that. So the, the whole thing, and this is the main crux why I'm kind of against people doing these active builds in pub games, is because you're not like one efficiently getting good practice because you're playing against pubs and it's just a clown fiesta a lot of the time but two you're just making it so unfun for the rest of your team because they're wanting to win just as much as you are but they're having problems because now they're having to play a certain way or a different play style themselves that they might not enjoy or they have to do certain things to adapt if they're not getting heals and then you're like well then you need to play another healer and then your team is down more, like more DPS essentially because they're not playing higher DPS characters because you negated them that certain stat. And it doesn't matter how great you are, there are certain characters that are naturally stronger statistically in the game, right? You have a McCree, he has really strong left clicks. You got a Reaper, he's very good against tanks. All that stuff. So you're instantly adding less to your team and making the experience less fun for your team. And I have a personal experience, a very good friend of mine, when we sometimes play League together, uh, this is, he would play AP Shaco Jungle, he's like, hey, can I do AP Shaco? I'm like, please don't, man, you know how it e always ends up. And sometimes we'd win, and he's like, oh, see? But, you know, sometimes we'd just get horrible losses, and people are very frustrated, even I'm like, dude, like, why, why'd you do that to me? And you just get these scenarios because he doesn't add a lot, right? The other jungler's constantly ganking you or they're always just having high pressure on you and you just have nothing to back you up because he's, he's going in trying to get a high burst or one shot or kill the other jungler in their jungle, but it's not adding a lot to your game. And when the game scales out, it's just not that great. It would have been so much better to be other characters. 
Uh, am I saying not to test other characters? No. I think testing characters or practicing characters is very important, especially in Overwatch where you need to adapt and learn as many characters as possible. Uh, as you can see from my list, I play a lot of things and I even fill out healer. And I try and uh, play things as much as possible. And there are certain times where my Widowmaker is really bad in this game, or my Hanzo is pretty bad, or I, don't, I need to keep on practicing my McCree or my uh, Roadhog hooks. And I'll ask my friends, because I'll party up with friends, they say, hey guys, can I play Widowmaker for the next two games? I just need to get some practice. They know that our chances of winning goes down because I'm playing a character I'm not that good at, but I'm trying to learn and figure out different play styles. I'm watching other videos. Where do they position? How do they play? How do they do the quick scope? How do they do the jump shot? Right? I'm learning and adapting and developing my own play style by playing that character, but I'm not negating my team in any way. I'm asking my friends if it's okay. I don't do that to pubs though. I don't just randomly say, okay, screw you guys. I'm going to play this certain way with this certain character and just ruin your experience so I can just hide in mine or get better with mine. That's just not a great attitude to have in a competitive game. It's just, it's very frustrating because I've dealt with this a lot because I'll, I've gone in pub games and, uh, and several games and people are like, oh, I'm having fun, but I'm, they don't know that my experience just instantly got worse. I'm not having as much fun. I, especially, I have, so I even have a brother and he and I will be just the two of us playing in an Overwatch game and he'll decide to play whatever he wants and even though he might be getting rocked uh, and we're just losing horribly or we're still winning but he's just not playing well, it just makes the game more, like, not more, it's just less fun. It's less fun overall because the enjoyment of these games is even if it's a pub game or a competitive like game or a scrim game is to have a challenging match, right? A challenging match that makes it exciting and oh the tension's high and when both teams are playing well and you're getting these close overtime matches that's when it gets really exciting and I'm not saying don't have fun you can play your six torps you can do it on attack you can drop them on the payload and go but do it with a group of friends. Don't ruin the experience of other randos on the internet. And that's kind of uh, all I have to say about it. And I'm not dissing him in any way. I can tell that's his mindset on it, and that's totally fine. He, he thinks that, you know, leave that in ranked. Don't do it in pubs. But for me, I try and make sure that everyone has an equal and fun playing experience throughout Overwatch or even other games in general just to make sure everyone's happy and that I'm playing to the best of my ability to make sure that everyone's having the maximum enjoyment to make sure even I get enjoyment in the game. So that's I think about it from my side. Uh, he, I highly suggest you go watch the video. He does bring up good points about how yes people can be toxic and frustrating and it's annoying to deal with but you know you gotta look at the other side too. How are you you know, how are you making the other people feel in your game? Is it frustrating for them because they're not getting heals and they're trying to play their favorite character and play style? And since now they're lacking, like, a valuable stat or a valuable character to their team and they have to pick it up themselves just because you don't want to? That's up to you to find out, man. So, uh, until then, thank you guys for watching the video. Until then, I will see you next time with more gameplay and stream highlights.